Welcome back to Zombie Side Black Plague. We're doing Quest 7 Dead Trail. We've popped open a door. We've got a mass of Dead Eye Walkers. We only have one Dead Eye Walker left in the pool. We do not want them to activate again. We're going to have to start slaughtering them right here. Up first is Miser. He's sitting right here. He's got four actions. He has the Disintegrate spell in hand and the Healing Enchantment spell in hand. Um, the first of his four actions, he's just going to move in here with the mess of everybody else. He has three actions left and a free spell uh, uh, casting action. Not spell casting, but he can uh, cast his Disintegrate spell for free. So he basically has... Um, Three, he has three actions plus the one spell cast. Let's get down to the board. Gonna have to get the dice tray in here. He's gonna start shooting through the open door at the four Dead Eye Walkers with his Disintegrate spell. All right, it's a bit of a crowded space there. Let's take a look at Disintegrate once again. Uh, rolling three dice, hitting on a five plus, uh, doing one damage per hit. That's all we need to do, of course, against the Dead Eye Walkers. In here, there's four of them. So he's gonna be rolling three dice. Uh, and if he rolls a six, he gets plus one damage. So he could take a fatty down, but there aren't any. So let's see, for his first free spell casting action, uh, he gets a couple of hits. That's two Dead Eye Walkers disappearing and that's going to give him a couple of experience seven up to nine uh, he has three actions remaining uh, keeping in mind so he's just going to keep firing in there until he takes as many down as he can so here, this is, <laughs> he gets a two two and a one. Oh boy he's getting his battered baldric all right he has two actions remaining this time he gets two fours and a three. That is enough to take out the other two Dead Eye Walkers in the room. See you later. Uh, he's got one action remaining. And he may want to start thinking about exchanging items with somebody. Nellie doesn't have a lot. She's got a dagger, a hammer, hand, crossbow. I think he might go ahead and give Nellie, because she has the free move. He's going to go ahead and exchange with Nellie. He's going to give Nellie the Dragon Bile and the Torch. So Nellie can put the Dragon Bile and Torch in her backpack. And that'll end off Miser's turn. Not a bad turn. Cleaned out the one room. Up next we have Glinda who's sitting in here with a Necromancer and two Walkers. I'm sure she's going to start smacking on them. So let's take a look. <clears throat> Glinda's got four actions. <laughs> Glinda's got the Flaming Greatsword. Five dice. Hitting on a five plus, wow! So let's um, let's get doing. Glinda, she's in the yellow zone, uh, so she's got four actions. Oh boy, this room is just massed with <laughs> with uh, creatures. All right, it's gonna just gonna start by let's see how I can get this in here. So Baldur, because there, I think if we put that like that, we actually yeah we can we can just see that. All right. She's going to go after, I guess, the two walkers, the necromancer. She's going to go for the necromancer first. She's got the flaming greatsword. She's going to be rolling five dice. Now, it only hits on a five plus, so it's not the super greatest odds. But uh, let's see what she can get done with the flaming greatsword. She gets one, two, three hits. Wow. On her first action, she takes down the necromancer and both walkers. <laughs> Just running around the room here. Or the... Uh, the uh, the outside of the door here and just torching them all. Nicely done. All right. And with that, we can now remove one of the spawn points. I think I am going to remove the spawn point in here. I know there was talk about removing the one at the exit. Problem with removing the one at the exit and leaving this one here, if we leave this one here and a necromancer shows up later, he only is one, or he'll be. Once we open this door, he'll be like one, two, three away from exiting, or one, two, and out this exit. So that's really bad news. We want to keep the spawn points as far apart as possible, uh, so that necromancers can't escape. All right, so we are going to get rid of the one necromancer spawn point in the room. Goodbye. Uh, and that leaves Glinda with a lot of actions remaining. She's got four actions, of course. That was her first action. She could go two three actions and have one more smack at these guys keeping in mind there's one two three four five dead eye walkers in this room can we actually oh boy can we actually get in there <clears throat> i think we're okay to get in there at least i hope if we can get nelly and ann in here 
Oh, living dangerously. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and live dangerously, I think. Who's where? When does Baldrick go? Baldrick goes before Anne, so he can shove Anne pretty far. Okay, I, I think <laughs> I think we're going to do that. So one action, she attacked, two, three. She's got one more attack here against a Deadeye Walker and three Walkers. And I did give her her experience for the three, did I not? No, I didn't. She went from seven, eight, she's up to ten experience. We don't go into the orange zone until we get to 19 experiences, quite a ways away. All right. Uh, yeah, you can't quite see that, can you? Let's, let's do it like that. All right, another... Hope she gets a good... She's got one, two, three hits again. Oh my god, that flaming sword. So we're going to go one, two dead eye walkers, and a walker. Gone. Holy jumping. She gets three more experience. She's up to 13 experience. She's smoking her way along. And that's going to be the end of uh, Glinda's turn. Up next is Nellie. Nellie's sitting right here. Alright, gotta think about what Nellie's gonna do, and then we're gonna get to it. Alright, I think Nellie is going to take her free move action. She is not in the um, in the yellow zone yet, though. She needs one more kill. So her free move action, her first of three actions, and then she's going to attack the um, one walker. Now, if she can take out the one walker, she will get into the yellow zone, which is where we want her. She has a hammer. And a dagger so she gets to roll two dice hitting on a four plus when she do it she gets a five and that is enough to take out the one walker pushing her into the uh, yellow zone so she gets another action so let me figure this out again she's got a free move first action second action was to kill so she has actually two actions remaining oh my god i don't know why i can't figure this out free move so she's at three one of three, she's down to two actions. She did an attack, she's got one action, but she gets an extra action for yellow. Yeah, so she has two actions remaining. Oh my gosh. She's gonna go one action in this room. She's got one attack left. She's gonna take the hammer, rolling two dice, trying to take out some of these Deadeye Walkers. And she rolls a pair of threes. Oh boy, she's in trouble. All right, that's the end of Nellie's turn. She's sitting in here with two, four, six, seven zombies. Ooh, we have basically just Baldrick and Anne left. So the Baldrick's way to heck over here. I wonder if we should not have moved her in there. Um, I think we probably shouldn't. Although Anne will be rolling three dice, hitting on four plus. All right, let me do some thinking. It is Baldrick's turn coming right up. And now that I think about it, it was probably silly to have Nellie go in here. She did have a hand crossbow. She could have shot in there, but then she'd have to take a turn to reload it so she wouldn't have anything that she could have done. So I think moving in here and taking a whack with a hammer was a pretty good idea. All right, up. Baldrick is next. Baldrick is going to go ahead and use um, his free spell casting to do the speed spell on Anne. So Anne gets to move too. Anne's going to move in here. Boy, this is living dangerously. And then Baldrick's got four actions. One, two, three, and four. And that's where we're going to leave them. Oh boy, Baldrick didn't do much, did he? He moved Anne. That's about it. Anne is up next. <clears throat> Anne has to be our savior here. Uh, she's got bloodlust melee and four actions. I, I'm pretty confident she can probably take down all of them. But we are going to find out. I'm going to readjust the camera a little bit. So Anne's first action is going to be Bloodlust Melee. She's going to move in here and go all bloodlusty. Oh my goodness. All right, let's 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 zoom down and have Anne hopefully <laughs> clean out this room. All right, Anne is not going to let Nellie die. No way. Anne is crazy lady. She's popping right in here. Bloodlust Melee. First four actions. She's going to be rolling with her Bastard Sword. Three dice. Hitting on a four plus. She gets to do this basically four times because this is her first action. Four. She gets two of them. Two dead eye walkers drop. <laughs> Just like that. Okay, I have confidence that what's one, two, she's up to 15, uh, sorry, 13 experience. There's three actions remaining. Uh, she gets another couple of hits. Two more dead eye walkers drop. And she gets to do that two more times. She's up to 15 experience. Anne is just blowing her way through this crowd of zombies. And 
few more actions. Ooh. Okay, come on, Anne. You can do this. You can do it if you try. Last action for Anne. She only gets one. Okay, she takes out the Dead Eye Walker. Damn it, that leaves two zombies in that zone with Nellie and with Anne. Okay, I thought, I honestly thought she was going to do a little bit better than that. All right, it's zombie movement time. So let's just take care of this right now. Nellie and Anne are both going to take a damage. That sucks, uh, but that's the way it is. So Anne's going to go from three health down to two. Nellie's going to go from three health down to two. But let's keep in mind, Mizar does have the healing enchantment spell. So he'll be able to uh, heal. So that's that's okay. We did clean out a lot of zombies in there. We have a marker to take. We've got a vault to get down to. So these guys have moved inside the building. These four walkers are making their way in here with Glenda and Baldrick. Now if walkers move again, we're going to have trouble. We're going to have real trouble. So let's hope that does not happen. All right, I'm going to uh, do all the movement of the zombies out of the street off screen they all have to tunnel down this road so it shouldn't be very difficult to figure out but instead of you sitting here watching me move them all i'm just going to do that and then we're going to get right back into the action with spawning oh my goodness and i have miser out here at a spawn point and that's not good all right let's get spawning so one two three four five oh let's hope standard walkers don't activate again because that is going to be nasty we get uh, we get a fatty, okay, get a fatty for Mizar, ooh, that could have been worse, that could have been like four dead eye walkers or something, but he does have disintegrate, so, mm, it's okay, all right, uh, first regular spawn point on the, on the left there, we get two runners, okay, two runners, we still have quite a few runners in the bin, so we're not super uh, worried yet. Okay, two runners, and we have another spawn point there as well. And that's going to be yellow zone, three walkers. Oh dear. All right, well, we took down a lot of walkers this time, but they just keep coming, don't they? Three more walkers. All right, we have two more spawn points in the yellow. Nobody's in the orange yet. Uh, two runners. Ooh. Okay, what did I say about runners? They're starting to starting to run out of runners a little bit i think we've got maybe half a dozen left and we have a final spawn point for today not all standard walkers activate no a fatty oh, wow okay i think i think we got pretty darn lucky on our spawn there today all right oh goodness so kind of looking at the map um we need to take this objective we need to take that objective that objective get to the exit can we do it? We've got to get down into this vault. We have to get down into that vault. Keeping in mind, we have two super awesome weapons. Once we get into the orange zone, we have the Chaos Longbow, and we also have the Axe of Carnage. So, uh, plus, I don't know what we're going to find down in the vault, so we might find some really cool stuff down there as well. So, that's it. So thanks so much for watching along. Thanks for your comments, subscriptions, likes. This is uh, Zombie Side Black Plague. We're doing Quest 7 Dead Trail. Baldrick's Bumbling Band. We have three objectives to take, two vaults to get down, and an exit to get to. And I think we're doing okay, although Anne and Nelly took a damage there. But like I said, Miser does have the healing spell, so we can probably get our, our characters healed up, I think. I think we're, I don't know. I want to say we're doing okay, but it's really hard to say. So thanks so much, and we'll see you in the next episode. But, of course, I have one pretty big uh, correction to make, and I'm going to have to try to fix this somehow. So the Disintegrate spell, yes, it was hitting on a 5+, plus, not a 4+. plus. Uh, there should have been three zombies remaining uh, after Miser blasted in here, and to try and rewind everything just not going to happen so what i'm going to rule it is uh, we would have been we would have taken three damage i'm just going to say we would they call them suicide <laughs> suicide zombies so i'm going to give baldrick a damage uh she can soak up a damage so she's not going to get a damage and miser is going to get a damage that's how i'm going to rule it so to try to fix that error so basically miser is going to go from three health down to two and baldrick's going to go from three down to two and those Three zombies that didn't quite get taken out by the Disintegrate spell, they started to fall apart, and they went on a suicide run. 
So that's how I'm going to rule it so I don't have to try and, it's just going to be too hard to try and rewind everything uh, for that uh, correction. So there we go. So we're going to leave it there. Uh, so thanks so much. And uh, yeah, I hope I don't make too many more errors in the next playthrough uh, episode coming up tomorrow. So thanks so much and we'll see you then.